welcome to my studio, very simple studio, and a very simple web app that has a piano roll and a mixer and something I call the part scheduler for reusing the parts that you create in the piano roll. Uh, so, so you've got everything you need actually to create songs very efficiently. And I'll just show you what I have here. Uh, now I'll ha have a little demo song right here and you can reach this demo song by clicking selecting the one in the top here. There's actually a lot of songs here so we can, that uh, are published. So, but uh, what I want to do now is to actually show you how to create something yourself. And uh, I'll just uh, show you the instruments that we have here. There are some fixed set of instruments uh, for, for this one, particular one right here. and. In the future, there uh, will for sure be more instruments. Um, uh, but I'll, I'll just play this piano for you. Uh, I have my MIDI keyboard connected here, so I can just play it here. And uh, I'll show you how to record that later on. And we also have uh, some nice strings. Also have a bass guitar. And of course we have some very simple drums. And uh, yeah, let's start now over by uh, creating something uh, new. So I'll delete everything that we got here. And uh, we have to start by adding a new part, so we can start with some drums actually. And uh, the drums they start, the bass drum is at C4, so if I here and make it a little shorter and we can have another one here and one here and one here and we have to schedule it in order to get it playing, so and now it will be playing at beat zero and we can actually start playing it so uh, we want some more tempo don't we like that and uh, we can actually use the computer keyboard to insert notes too so i will just add a hi-hat here on uh, right here and then i'll just have to press. It's like the upper part of the keyboard is the upper octave in, uh, of what's visible here and the lower part is, is down here. So and we can also say that every second note should be lower. Oh, I can delete. And uh, let's uh, add another part, uh, for example, uh, bass. So I will add that. And uh, this one I want to be uh, four times as long. And I want to schedule that one too at beat zero. But then I actually have to repeat the drums so that it gets the same length as the bass part. And uh, I think I want to use the media keyboard to, to record the bass actually. Turn on the recording. So, no ha. 
hands, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, I'll decide to keep this. And then we see what I just recorded. We see it here, and also see the note that I hit from. And I can do some corrections. It's always difficult to adjust the lengths, but I think that works for this short note. Something has to be improved still. <laughs> uh, we can we can add a new instrument. Let's take the piano. And let's schedule that one for a uh, year. We can actually introduce that again at beat 8, so let's uh, repeat everything at beat 8. And we have like that. And we need 8 to be the length for the piano. Start recording and we can start playing before it comes here. So let's see how that was. I think I totally missed it here, so go on again. Again. Oh, let's keep that then and correct. And we can, yeah, you know, we could repeat some things here and go on. Uh, so, but I, I think you get the idea now. Uh, so, I'll just show you what you can do next because there's a lot of uh, music published up here. And if you want to do that, you have to push this button here. And then uh, what happens is that if you say yes to this, uh, your track will be listed on the top of, uh, of the page here. Uh, so this will just uh, um, uh, be posted on the blockchain. It doesn't cost anything to publish. It's just a regular gas fees for a transaction, that's all. And uh, uh, if anyone decides to push this buy button here, uh, they will actually get uh, that means that uh, they will have to pay 10 years and you will get four near out of that. So the rest of, of those six nears remaining will go to the instrument NFT owner, which is uh, <laughs> something I published there, this instruments, and, and to the platform. Uh, 
but uh, if you decide to buy it yourself, you can actually um, you you will get your four nears in return, and you can sell it again for whatever you want, and and you will also actually get uh, two percent of um, on the resales whenever someone sells it again. So, and uh, those who own uh, what's published here, the owner will actually get a another button here for exporting to a web file. And then you can use it for whatever you want, uh, YouTube video or what you like. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so I just showed you a very simple tool for creating music in the web browser. Uh, it's all synthesized in real time. The, this uh, these instruments. It's uh, actually physical modeling synthesis and uh, implemented in WebAssembly using assembly script and um, uh, and yeah. So it's right here. So go and check it out. Thanks for watching.